I got the accounts amoeba when I first started uni. So I started in September and then I was what well, unofficially diagnosed in like October. So it was really hard for me to be living in London on my own. Like I was in halls and uh, I didn't know loads of people in halls. So I don't know, it was just an awkward time because especially when my vision started to go, like being on the streets of London with loads of people walking everywhere, I got quite self-conscious about like where I was walking because I felt like I couldn't see at that time. Whereas now I'm kind of used to it, but I felt like over there I couldn't see at all. So like I was like knocking people in the street and stuff. It just knocked my confidence a bit, I think, and it didn't make, it made me not want to go out. And especially the light, I'd wake up some mornings and my eye would just be really bad and I just not want to even like open my eyes, let alone like get out of bed. I spent most of my day asleep. I barely went into uni and then I got admitted into hospital in the Easter and then just stopped going to uni. So I missed the whole summer term. And then I think that really put me back, not in terms of like doing work at uni, but socially. Like it's only now that I'm really integrating with people there because I was just spending so much time back in South End and at hospital appointments. I missed so much and I couldn't go out at all, like in the evenings or anything. So like I didn't really socially like meet a lot of people, especially when I was wearing the eye patch. I just didn't want to see anyone. So sitting on the bus on my own wearing an eye patch and a child looks up at his mum's like and is like, is she like a pirate mummy? <laughs> I didn't want to wear it, but it was just so much more comfortable when I put it on. So. Yeah, I kind of got over the fact that it was embarrassing. <laughs> My grandma basically thought it was conjunctivitis, so she just gave me like a general like medicine for conjunctivitis. And then I took it home, did it overnight, and then when I woke up in the morning, it made me feel like a, a lot worse about my eye. Like I felt like there was a proper problem then, whereas before I thought, oh, it must be just like a small infection or something. Where, and I was just a bit worried, like, oh God, she's my eye. So. She took me to another doctor who looked at my eye and said, oh, I think it's an ulcer or something. So he thought it was an ulcer. And then he took me to another doctor. He was an eye doctor, I think. So, and then he said, yeah, I think you've got this thing called acanthamoeba. I can't be sure. Um, but basically you have to go to hospital today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to go to hospital. <laughs> they started putting me on all these drops every hour. I'd have to they'd wake me up and put the eye drops in for about two days. And then I could kind of do that on my own. And then for the first week or so, I went back to the doctor every, like a couple of, uh, I went back to the doctor like every few days and then it was like every week or so, and then got less and less. And then eventually I was referred to Moorfields. I was up and down last year. So I'd have the, uh, my eye was, would be stable for like a few months and then it would go bad again, like so the, all the symptoms would come up and then I'd notice then that my vision would get worse again. I ha I've usually been in every month and this is the first time they said to come back in three months. So it's going very well. Basically, I'm right at the end of treatment and I'm within the next couple of weeks, I'll completely come off the drops. So that'll be the first time in the like, last two years. <laughs> Have you had problems with depth perception? Oh yeah, like a lot of the time I'll pour a drink and it's just a lot like a lot further away from where the drink is and I just poured orange juice all over the table. Obviously if I'm crossing a road and I need to look in that direction, there's no vision over there for right so I can just glance over and look kind of thing. I'll have to like turn my head fully and like but sometimes I just don't. I know it's quite bad, but you know, it's if I'm trying to get somewhere and I, I guess yeah, I've had times where it's like, beep, get out the way, but yeah. My eye's been stable throughout this whole school year, so this year has been really fine. And I've noticed such a big difference in how, like, well, I guess I've just known people a lot, I've got to know people a lot easier this year and just like, integrated a lot better. So the difference is really quite a lot. <laughs>